This is, though, what she's done is it's a symptom of a syndrome, okay, that there is a problem that only government can fix to right the racial injustices of the past. There's a common denominator, by the way, that I talked about, I said I would come back to it, that could lead to this disparity among any race, white, black, yellow. What could, let me ask this, what could possibly be the uh, common denominator, okay, that could lead to a disparity in success in school that would also possibly lead to a disparity in incarceration rates or saving up enough money to get a home? Let me, let me answer that with an anecdote, anecdote first followed by some data, okay? I was at a baby shower this weekend. Uh, my wife was out of town, so I had to attend, and I brought Betty, our puppy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, so it was <laughs> all the parents and their kids, and Betty's a puppy, and so we're trying to socialize her with as many dogs and as many kids as possible. Yeah. She's out there running around playing. There was this boy who was screaming, by the way. Anytime he wanted attention, just, ah, ah, scream, shove mm-hmm. another kids in the bouncy hop. He walked up and punched Betty in the ribs Ooh. as hard as he could, just Right where the spine meets the ribs just <laughs> sounded just like that. Ow. And then he walked up and he yanked on her tail. And he looked me, Johnny Boy was there, looked me in the eyes and started stepping on her tail after I told him to stop. Now. Oh, he going to die. I say this because <laughs> um, if it were Hopper, he probably would, probably would have bitten the kid because yeah. he's older. He doesn't play that, right? And yeah. that's another, another problem I have. People are like, oh, dog. No, if you punch a dog in the ribs, you're kind of asking for it. But yeah. uh, it, the racist would look at that and say, oh, black kid. But you know what I saw? I saw a kid at that baby shower with the only mother without a wedding ring or a father. He was the only kid there without a dad. And as far as I know, he doesn't have a dad. Now, I could give that kid free school for life. I could give him a guaranteed job. I could walk up and hand that mom a million dollars and it wouldn't make a shit of a difference because he doesn't have a dad. So because he was black, no. All kids do poorly without dads. They're more likely to drop out of school, to commit crimes, to be violent, to have psychological problems or behavioral disorders, to have marital problems of their own down the line, to make a lower income across the boards, okay? Black kids do poorly without a dad. White kids do poorly without a dad. But 73% of black kids don't have a dad. But because Cortez sees blacks as a voting block, she then interprets all of these disparities as discrimination. But there really is at least one easily explainable reason for this, or at least one correlation that makes sense across the board. Kids who don't have dads do poorly in life.